Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I find cute townies on the Sims 4 gallery to populate my worlds with. Sometimes I like to play with save files or even my own save file where I have townies already made, but when I want to start a fresh save I like to go on the gallery and find a bunch of cute sims to add in so that my world isn't so full of just default sims. Before we go into some of my favorite gallery creators, I figured I'd show you how to navigate the gallery and a few tips to search for cute sims on your own because the gallery can be super annoying and overwhelming and confusing. <laughs> when you first launch the gallery with this icon up here, it's going to bring you to your library page. And if we're going to be searching for our own new sims, then you're going to go over to the gallery tab and you're going to be met with this page which has the most random gallery creations you can imagine. Sometimes there's some gems here but it's a lot of just random stuff. Over on the left here you're going to want to click households and sometimes I like to click on popular now over here just to see if there's anything that catches my eye. Um, if you click most popular a lot of that stuff, like, I don't really find to be that interesting because most of this stuff is from like 2015 to like 2020 since it's been the most downloaded for so many years. It just keeps getting boosted to the top, so. You're gonna wanna look out for content that you know isn't in the game because people like to catfish their gallery photos by using custom content and then just using a different gallery photo to make it look like it's the in-game content. So if you ever download a sim and they're missing content or they don't look the same, that's probably why. Like this sim in particular, she's super pretty, but you can see she has like a CC hair on. So that's not how she's gonna look when you download her. So one of the easiest ways to look for new sims is to use hashtags, obviously, and a lot of times I like to click these ones up top just to make it easy, but I also will type in some of my own. So for example, I might click Oasis Springs, just kind of see what comes up. You can kind of click between most popular, newest, you'll find just all kinds of stuff and you'll usually find like some really cute families this way. Like, look at them, they're so cute. And you can really get creative with the hashtags. I mean, a lot of times I like to just type in hack names. Like for example, I might just type in growing together because a lot of people will upload families and stuff with these kind of tags. You'll just find a lot of really cute families and stuff. And something I like to do also is just go through the hashtags that you see a lot of other accounts putting on theirs and just clicking through there, like hashtag starter family. The more you mess around with this, the more cute families and base sims and stuff you'll find. So honestly, I've never used this hashtag before, but these families are all so cute. So I recommend hashtag starter family just as a random recommendation. One more tip, if you're copying and pasting a creator ID from say the description of this video or somewhere else on Tumblr or wherever, when you copy and paste it, this is one of the creators that we're going to be using, we're going to go to EA account ID and when you paste it in, you're going to want to make sure that there is no space after what you paste in. This is like something that happens to me all the time. When you press enter, there's a space, you'll see nothing comes up. But if you delete the space here, then you'll see this will load. So this is a question I get all the time of why won't this creator ID come up? That is like pretty much always the reason I've found. Once you download a family, you can just come over to my library and they will show up right here. You can pop them into your game. And now I'm going to show you some of my favorite gallery creators that you can download amazing townies and sims families from. So first we have Sim Madness and they have a lot of good households for different types of NPCs like doctors, baristas, bartenders, etc. And then they also have a lot of cute random families and really cute towny makeovers. So I definitely recommend you check out their sims. They're definitely a go-to for me, especially when I'm looking for NPC sims. 
Next we have Sims on the Rope, and I feel like this is the classic creator for NPC townies. They just make so many good CC free townies and they have skills, jobs, likes and dislikes, all of that. Just make sure you check the description before you play with them as an active household because some are set as like NPC jobs and stuff. So if you're looking to fill up your save with a lot of different sims, this is another go-to creator for random NPCs to have walking around since I don't want to have a ton of randomly generated sims in my game. Next up is Cowplant Snacks and they again make really cute towny sets. This is the last creator I use that makes these kind of big towny sets, but these are so good. Some are very general and could be used in any world. Some are more themed, like celebrities, teenagers, university students, etc. So they also have some really cute standalone families and occult families. So I definitely check them out if you want a lot more Sims to fill up your world. Next is the Clumsy Simmer who makes really cute families and I love that they have such a wide variety in the kinds of households that they make. They have occults and two sims households and bigger families and all of them just look so cute. You can tell this creator puts a lot of love into the households they make so I think they're a great option when I'm looking for new townies. This is Sims by Tessa, and I love their gallery page. The families look so aesthetic in how they're all posed, but they make a lot of families as well with a lot of diversity, and they have a lot of kids, so if I'm playing with a Sims family with kids and I want them to have friends, they're an awesome creator because there are plenty of families with a lot of little ones to choose from. Next we have Sakura Leon, and I think this is kind of another staple creator in the Sims community for families. They have so many good ones, and they also have townies for certain careers like criminals, business people, painters, simfluencers, so there's a lot to choose from, and whenever I'm scrolling through the gallery looking for townies, I always see their Sims come up because they're just so good. Next is Alexia VR and they have a lot of good smaller families or like one, two, or three sims households which I love because sometimes you just need a couple or a single sim for your sims to date rather than someone already like married with kids or whatever and that's a goal I have for this video is to just offer you guys a lot of variety in the kinds of sims that you can download from these creators. Next we have Adelina who again has a lot of great variety on their page. They have big families, smaller families, single sims, they all have a lot of diversity and there's even some great base game sims on their page and like one pack only households like only seasons, only for rent, only growing together. So if you have only the base game or limited packs I would definitely check out their page and see if any of their sims catch your eye. This is Denise S4 and I chose this creator because they have a lot of single sims. I think that sometimes when you have an idea for a sim and you want a good base to start with, these kinds of households are awesome and it's why a lot of them are titled like cute guy, hot girl, is so that you can build your own sim with your own story out of it. Just make sure you're not re-uploading their sims and claiming them as your own but these kinds of creators are so great to keep in mind when you want to make a new sim but you don't want to start totally from scratch. This is Magic Blue Dragon and this is another creator who makes a lot of base sims with the similar types of descriptions like cute hot guy or whatever where you can make your own sim out of them for your story and I love that they have such a wide variety in types of base sims to choose from and I also love how detailed a lot of them are with different accessories and everything to make them more unique. Next we have Give Says Hi who specializes in making black sims households in every shape, size, combination of family members you're looking for. They have families, single sims, couples, they have alternative sims. They're all so good so definitely check them out if you're looking to add more diversity to your game.
This is Pug Owned, and these last two creators are for pets. If you need cute cats and dogs, I definitely recommend Pug Owned. They use the coat creator to make them look so detailed and realistic to the kind of breed that they are. They are so good. And finally, this is Coyote who makes horses. I know when I play with horses, I come check out this creator and usually use one of theirs. They are so nice and realistic and it makes them look so good in screenshots with my sims. So I definitely recommend. Those are all of the creators I have for you today. I hope you guys found this helpful when you're looking for cute townies for your game. If you have any other creators you recommend for townies, definitely leave them in the comments below so that we can all go check them out. These were just some of the ones that I love in this video, but there are so many awesome creators out there. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.